It's really not that big of a deal, bro. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, welcome back to Project Zomboid! We are here, on the farm, well not on the farm, but close to the farm, next to the farm, uh, there's like a few houses near the farm, and I gotta keep my energy up because there's like a ton of zombies, I haven't ever been out this way, because it is, uh, fucking far. <laughs> it took us an entire episode to get this far. Um, and it's gonna take us an entire episode to go back, probably, unless I, like, do some interlude -y shit, which, um, if we want to go to the, the west side of town, we could do that. I have visited there before, but, oh my god, so many zombies. Okay, run, run, run. Back, back, back. Lose your train of thought. Wonderful. Excellent. Great job. Oh. So yeah, it took me a long ass time to get out here, um, I don't know how it's gonna go on the way back. I'm thinking about taking a different path back because the path here had basically nothing on it. I was just running through the woods fucking rambling to myself like a crazy man. And uh, I don't think it's that different from what we usually do on the channel. But still, it wasn't as uh, engaging as it could have been if we had like some buildings to explore and things like that. I'm all about exploring them buildings. Hey bro. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna see me. He almost fucking got me. Oh boy. There's some zombies knocking on these here windows. Hello friend. Can I, can I open this? You wanna come on out? How's it going? Yeah, good. You sneak out to see your old buddy Dayton does? That's so nice of you. I appreciate that a lot. Oh god. Fuck. I was uh, concentrating on closing the window when I should have been like, are there any zombies in here? First question. Are we free of zombies? No. No, we're not. Watch your ass. Wash your ass. <laughs> I haven't washed my ass in three months now. Because, uh, that's not a thing in this game. You can't take a shower and you can't poop. So I haven't pooped in three months, I haven't showered in three months. That's not good. Probably a die of... I don't know. I don't know what you call it. I guess it's some sort of constipation. You poison your, your body with your own poop. That's how it goes. Hmm, there's some sheets in here. I guess I should take these. Just in case I do find a place that I want to hold up. Hold up, hold up. Can I remove the curtains? Hmm, yes I can. I'm gonna take those. Uh, it's actually just a sheet. It's a fancy looking sheet, but it'll never be that fancy again. Because the interior decorator who designed this place, um, they're dead now. They're probably a zombie. R.I.P. Let's have some beef jerky breakfast. Mmm, oh, that's good. You got the chocolate popsicles, uh, cherry pops, you know, pineapple juices. That's pretty nice. You know what they say about pineapple juice, don't you? It makes your semen taste like pineapples. I, I don't know if that's true. I never ate my own semen. <laughs> We're off to a great start in this episode. <laughs> Wonderfully done. Oh, there's a shit ton of sheets in this house. I should have stopped here first. Now I'm a bit overloaded. I'm going to put these in the bag. Put it in the bag! I probably don't need 11 unless we come across a house that's like absolutely fucking gigantic. Which we might! I know there's a farmhouse out this way. I want to see what it holds today. Alright, that's where we came in. I think we're done with this house. Thank you so much. It's been much appreciated. Hmm. I think the farmhouse is just, like, out, uh, to the west a little bit more. But I'm scared to get lost. I don't want to get lost. I want to stay near the road so I, I can see what's happening and stuff. Any zombies in here? Nope. Battery, chisel, nails, paperclip. Paperclip! It's a roach clip. If I could, uh, find a way to grow some marijuana, that would be a wonderful thing. For the zombie apocalypse, although, uh, you'll probably end up dying because you won't have your wits about you. What does Dayton always say? Keep your head on a swivel. That's right. Somebody knocking on my window? 
Uh, hello? Hello? Hmm. I, I thought I heard somebody out there. It's it's her. It's her. I should let her in. It's my wife. She's back. She's back. I'm no longer alone. <laughs> oh, man. What to do? What to do? I'm at a loss of what to do. That's right. I need to change my bandage. My bandage is all dirty. I can't even wash it. I guess it's... Oh, my, my wound has healed. Wonderful. That was actually a lot quicker than I thought. Wasn't a zombie bite, I just cut myself on uh, some broken glass like a fucking idiot. Oopsie doops, but at least it healed relatively quick. I guess that's a, a good way to level first aid, if that's something that you were inclined to do. I'm going to run into the woods just a little bit, hoping to uh, run into the farm. I don't know if it's such a good idea, though. There's probably a way to get to the farm from the road, so um, yeah. Let's not get lost in the woods. That's probably the best idea that I've had so far in this playthrough. Aside from the, the tips that I gave you about pineapple juice, I want you to write that shit down. <laughs> That's going to come in handy in your life. I'm certain of it. Um, these look just like a bunch of houses. I'm surprised that people live near a farm. Doesn't it smell like pig shit or something? Maybe? Yeah, I like the smell of pony and pig shit in the morning. That's what I enjoy. I just get up, take a deep breath while I'm going out to get the newspaper, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit everywhere. Wonderful. That's how it was at our old house in the Philippines. You'd wake up and just be like, ah, oh, cat shit. My favorite. My favorite. And uh, now there's still a bunch of dogs next door, but at least they're, oh, god damn it. <laughs> At least their shit isn't, uh, so terrible. It's not the worst thing ever. I mean, it makes a bunch of flies and stuff, but I can't smell it. So, that's the important thing. God damn it! Fuck! How did I break that window from way over here? Bat slipped out of my hands like a Wiimote. Ha ha! That's topical. That console's only like a decade old already. Fuck. I feel old, man. Let me tell you that. Ugh, get up in the morning, my back just hurts. You kids don't know. You don't know yet, but someday you'll find out. You'll be like, yep, Dayton was right. My fucking back hurts all the time. How did he know? This is the shit that your parents aren't going to tell you. Uh-oh. Door's locked. Let's try a window. Excellent. Open the window. Climb through the window. There you go. Now, why did I not climb through it? Uh, oh god. <laughs> With E. E was to open and close it this time. But when it had a bunch of fucking broken glass in it, of course he's like, yeah, just climb through it. I guess because it's already open. It's permanently open since it's broken. That makes good sense. I I'm seeing the logic there. Nobody in here. Empty pillbox, panties, toy ship, tro toy triceratops, panties. And this little girl was playing with ships and triceratopses? No, no, you need a Barbie, little girl. I'm gonna enforce some gender stereotypes right now. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool if you want to play with a triceratops. I wish my daughter wanted to play with a triceratops. <laughs> I could play dinosaurs and army men all fucking day. But she only wants to play Barbies. Which, uh, you know, that's okay. But it's, it's not as entertaining to me. <laughs> But then again, it's, it's not all about the Dayton does, is it? It's about what the kid wants to do. So, okay, let the kid do what she wants to do. That's just fine. Maybe I should buy her some army men and shit like that. And maybe we'll see. We'll see for sure what she really wants. You like Barbie? You like army men and dinosaurs? I mean, yeah, it just depends how you ask her most of the time. Barbie? Army men and dinosaurs. Barbie? Army men and dinosaurs! <laughs> Barbie? Barbie, baby! Baby Barbie. They do have a baby Barbie, but it isn't called Baby Barbie. It's, uh... I forget. <laughs> it has a name. Barbie's got, like, a whole family and shit like that. I guess they weren't making enough money with just Barbie, so they're like, Here's Barbie's sister and child and 
daughter, and they don't make the mother because uh, I think the mother's already dead or something like that. Barbie's mom. They, she doesn't like to talk about it though. <laughs> Poor Barbie. It scarred her pretty deeply, you know. She's so affected that she has to fill up the hole in her heart with uh, clothes and shoes and sports cars. Anybody, anybody gr agree with me on this? <laughs> is, is it just me coming up with these Barbie conspiracy theories? <gasps> Lay down! Fuck! <laughs> the game thinks that I want to chop a tree down. It's like, dude, there's a zombie laying right there. Can we, can we take care of the immediate threat, please? I wonder where this fucking farm is. Is it up the road? I have no idea. It looks like just a bunch of trees and shit out here. Which might be okay. Maybe I could, uh, make another little hoose. But that's not that smart of an idea. This is, like, way out in the fucking boonies. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm not gonna keep on running down this road because, uh, yeah, I should probably check a map or something like that before I get fucking too lost. We searched through a couple houses. There's not that many houses out here. Not that many people out here that enjoy pig shit and horse shit and dog shit and cat shit and bird shit and rat shit and other shits, baby shit. That's right. <laughs> we keep the babies out in the pen. One day they'll be old enough to, to go for slaughter. Then we can enjoy some delicious tender baby meat. <laughs> oh god. Somebody's gonna be sensitive to that joke. They're gonna be like, oh, how, how could you eat a baby? I haven't actually eaten a baby. I just told a joke about eating a baby. Okay? One of my friends in high school, uh, what, his Xbox gamer tag was I eat babies, which I thought was the fucking <laughs> most hilarious thing ever, because he was a big fat kid. That kind of added on to the joke. If you just saw him, I, I don't guess it was that hilarious, but I thought that shit was funny as hell. Funny as hell, boy. He's a pretty cool kid. I miss a lot of those uh, those kids from high schools. Some of them became like SJW fuckheads, and uh, you know, some of them don't participate in politics at all. I find the weird thing uh, about relationships like that is like in high school, it really matters what kind of music you listen to, and most most groups uh, cliques in high school are formed around the type of music that people like. Or maybe the music forms around the click. I don't fucking know. But, um... Then you get a little bit older and it, uh, becomes politics more than music. Like, okay, you listen to punk music, but obviously you're uh, a fucking leftist, so... We can't be friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unless, uh, you know, you enjoy civil debate, which, uh, I definitely do. You can see my Hero Siege, uh, playthrough. Not playthrough but collab with Jeremy from the Game Gallows, and he's kind of a lefty, but we, uh, we kind of agree to disagree and just talk about our differences instead of freaking out like fucking children and being like, no, you're wrong, like most people seem to do these days. It's really hard for, uh, anybody to get into, like, a rational debate, which is, uh, I guess a bit more sad than hilarious. <laughs> It's, it's really not that big of a deal, bro. It's not anything that uh, people can control, so just fucking get over it. Get over it, when the hell? Get over it, when the hell? I'm whining, I'm crying, I'm pinching a fit. Well, get over it, get over it. Hell yeah. Get some more metal going. Anybody want to form a click based on that? We both like that song? I guess we could be friends. Nope, it's not how it is no more. Not no more. Come over here, zombie. I don't want to come and get you. Just just feed yourself to me. There you go. There you go. That's right. I guess it's like the, uh, the evolution of your brain or something like that. You know? Oh, that Red Bull got rid of my uh, exertion. That's pretty cool. Red Bull really does that, but there's no, like, uh, sugar crash in this game. Hey, buddy. Come outside. You, you come outside? I'm gonna break this fucking window. Okay, I didn't. Good, good, excellent. Let's get some of those sheets. Get some sheets. Cover up some windows so no nasty zom zoms can see me in here. That's right. 
Gotta keep myself well hidden. Here we go. I'll close that up. I don't really know if I'm going to be using this place, but it seems like a, a decent hidey hole, at least for now. This is a really fucking small house. This is humble. A humble home for your humble narrator. Maybe I should just settle down here. Be like, alright guys, that's it. That's it! I'm going to just live here until the zombies get me. No. It's not going to work that way. I got to fight to survive. That's how it goes. Uh, where's that fishing textbook I just saw? Multiplier for the 3 to 4 skill. Oh, I've already read it. Durr. Her fucking durr. Oh, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza time. It's frozen, but it's still good. It doesn't bring me any unhappiness because it's fucking pizza. Hell yeah. Alright, top 10 favorite foods right now. Burgers, fries, pizza, taco, burrito. Done. N not necessarily in that order. <laughs> I didn't give any thought to the order. I just uh, started vomiting out my mouth. That's usually where you vomit from. Vomiting out my brain? Yeah, that's it. All the things that were in my brain, I just, I just let them go. Here we go. Here's some stuff to say. Alright, we got it. We're so good. <laughs> you guys can tell I'm a little more amped up. Than the last episode, I drank a monster energy drink, not a sponsor, and uh, I think it went pretty well. I think that turned out pretty good. Oh, look, here's a here's a house. Ooh, and there's the ruins of a house. That's pretty cool. Somebody left the stove on, became a zombie, probably ended up uh, perishing in this fire, <laughs> but there's still the <laughs> the stove is the only thing left. Wow! The stove destroyed everything except itself. It is sentient. It's smarter than all of us. We're all gonna die! Well, that's true. I don't know about, like, tomorrow or anything. But eventually, we will all die. And, uh, the only thing that'll be left of Dayton Does are some shitty videos on the internet. So hopefully, you know, the kids, kids, kids will find it and they'll be like, oh! Look at this! People used to make crappy videos when, when, <laughs> back in the day. That's right. We sure did. Oh, there's an open door. Good, good. Oh, and there's a fucking burglar alarm. <sighs> Seriously? I don't think there's that many zombies out in the, in the boonies though. Maybe we can just beat the shit out of them. Oh, they are arriving. Ding 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 ding! Zombies arriving! That's uh... something from the Navy. I think they do it for officers or some shit like that. Tell you who's coming to the ship. President of the United States, Donald Trump, arriving! Ding 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 ding! Yay! He's gonna destroy ISIS. Nobody did that before. And then another group will pop up like Al-Qaeda, and we'll still have to go to war. Oh, this bitch is sneaking up. Sneaking up on me. Nope, nope, nope. But I still had time to sing a song, didn't I? You like that? You like that? I'm just gonna make a big pile of bodies. Dead bodies everywhere. I ain't scared of you. Come on, fucko. Yeah. At least all the zombies are here now. It's uh sort of collected up all these zombies for me. They're definitely going to break into that fucking house. It's not going to be a safe place. The windows are going to go down and everything. Could you not? Could you guys not? Oh my god. Okay, okay. Swoop back the other way. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. What do you say? Why don't we kill some zombies today? Um. Oh shit. You hear that heavy guitar riff? That means the shit's going down. Dayton does is uh, panicked out of his mind. This is not good. Why didn't the burned down house have a burglar alarm? I guess it did. It was just burnt and non functioning. Oh god. 
This is so not good. Why do I keep uh, fighting houses with burglar alarms and then insisting to myself that, yeah, you have to take the house back from the zombies? Because I'm a good person. I don't want anybody else to come find this house and be like, maybe there's some goodies, and then die to all the zombies inside. I'm just keeping my fellow survivors safe, although I haven't seen a fellow survivor. Not in a long time. I should play on a multiplayer server, but I get the feeling that it's gonna be kind of like Rust or uh, DayZ, where just everybody's fucking murdering each other. As soon as you see somebody, don't even talk to them, just kill them. <laughs> they might kill you first, so kill them. I think that's so sad. I would like to see a, 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 an actual community building game. I think that would be really, really cool. But so far, no game has been able to do it right. As long as you give players the option to kill each other, they will. <laughs> Everybody is that guy, I guess. Which is kind of sad. I really want, uh, yeah. A game that has PvP enabled, but then like, the good players go after the shitty players who are uh, just killing people for no reason, you know? Enforce some street justice? Hell yeah, boy! That's what Dayton does is doing right now. Street justice for zombies. Bam! My bat is almost uh, broke as shit. I should probably switch this out. Let's uh, find a safe, safe spot. Safe space! Everyone's my friend in my safe space. Nobody disagrees with me in my safe space. Safe space. I don't want a safe space. I want to be disagreed with. Uh, but yeah, you gotta have a, a civil argument. You can't just be like, well, you're a shit muncher. <laughs> That's not constructive. Nobody's learning anything from that, goddammit. But if you both uh, have arguments and present facts, then it's like, hell yeah, this is interesting. I want to be proved wrong. I can admit when I am wrong. Which is never. <laughs> JK, JK, JK. JK Rowling. That's, that's a woman who can't admit when she's wrong. The whole internet is like, hey bitch, you're wrong. And she's like, whatever, I made Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, you did, didn't you? Too bad it's not gonna save you for the next 20 years or whatever. Doesn't mean everything that you say is gonna be right. But yeah, she makes everything an allegory to Harry Potter. She's like, uh, you, you should uh, let all the Muslims in because uh, if you don't, then you're like the Death Eaters or something like that. It's like, what? What? There was a, a wall in Harry Potter to keep the Muggles out. <laughs> I thought that's what, I thought that's what the allegory was. That's why I used to like you. No, I didn't. I read the first five Harry Potter books or something. And I said, this is getting really convoluted and weird. Bye. And that was that. And I never looked back. I didn't feel like I was missing anything with books uh, six and seven. I did see the movies. That was kind of cool, I guess. I, I give you credit. That was kind of cool. Halfway. A little bit. But guess what? She didn't direct the movies. <laughs> ha ha ha. I still find a way to get out of it. Oh, uh, there's not really anything in here. Like I said, I didn't need to fight the zombies off. I guess I did it to uh, level my blunt accuracy. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. And I will take these baseball bats. I need them. I'm beating the shit out of every zombie I come across. Yeah, boy. That's how we do it. And I said we were gonna find the farm. It's already fucking four o'clock and we haven't found the farm yet. Oh god damn it! Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh. Turn off light bulb. Remove light bulb. Wow. I'm super surprised the electricity's still going. I tried to f look into the, uh, the Indie Stone forums and on Google for a way to turn off the water and electricity since it's just been on for so fucking long. But I was not able to uh, find any for a single player server. They do have it for multiplayer servers, uh, open up the console and shit like that, but it doesn't seem like single player servers have a console, which is really, really interesting to me. 
I would like for that to be an option, please and thank you. But oh well. It be what it be. We're just doing what we can at the moment. Hmm, advanced metal work. Yes. Koran on the floor. Hmm, that's where you belong. German textbook. Hmm, we could learn some German. Das gut. Alright, see how much I learned already? Now I can say that something is good. Pause. Is it like a Jaws parody, but with a badger instead of a shark? A shark badger? That's awesome. I want to see that movie. Briefs, panties, pacifiers. Hmm. There's also a video game. I like video games. Too bad, uh... Oh, we, we can still charge it. The electricity is still on. We should grab that shit. We should grab that shit. Just, uh, spend the day with Nintendo DS. <laughs> Yeah, you don't gotta do shit. It's the zombie apocalypse, bro. It's all over. Just sit there and play Nintendo until until you're dead. It's gonna be fine. Hmm, looking for some more bandages as well. I don't think there are any in here. Nope, nope, nope. Floss, hair gel, chapstick, bath sponge. No bandages. Damn. Damn, damn, damn! Well, my wound is already healed, but, uh... It's probably not the last time that I'm going to get wounded, you see. So I would like some bandages. Did you hear that death rattle from that zombie? God, that's creepy. <laughs> that's the last gasp that he made as his skull was crushed in. I don't think zombies breathe. If you're already dead, like you're the walking dead, then you probably don't breathe, right? Is that correct? Somebody, uh... Somebody reinforce this idea? Give me some, uh, some facts about zombies? Because, you know, they've been so well studied. They are an actual real thing that happens. This is a phenomenon that we know quite well by now. At least in, uh, this version of the world. In this, uh, parallel universe... This string of realities. Oh man, that's a big house. Look at this big old house. Dang. How y'all doing in here? Oh, this is a, a nice closet. Is that what it is? Walk-in closet? I assume there would be like a shelf or something in here. But there's not. There's nothing. I don't understand. What the fuck? Did I come in here already? There's a zombie brained on the floor. Oh, I think she shot herself. She's got a hunting rifle and a shotgun. Yep. Yep, yep. She shot herself, that's for sure. Lots of, uh, bullets and whatnot, though. I will take this. Can it all fit in my bag? Sure can. Thank you so much, lady. Not for shooting yourself, because, you know, you're gonna go to hell. But... It was nice of you to leave me these treats. Oh man, it's a little too heavy for me. Um, what to do, what to do? Not really a whole lot of stuff I can get rid of, to be honest. I will miss all of these things. I'll carry around this baseball bat, that's fine. I don't necessarily want to carry the shotgun. The shoot gun. Hmm... 0.2 pounds. If I could get rid of 0.2 pounds in here. Let's eat this MRE. That'll do it. And then I can shove the baseball bat in there as well. And I'll be nice and well fed. My wounds are all healed up, but you still want to stay well fed, you know? Just keep morale up in the zombopalypse. That's right. We did, we did good. Alright, sorry suicide lady. I can't stay here with you. I've got to find a farm. I don't know if we're e ever actually going to find it. Does it actually exist out here? Was it just a rumor that I heard? And it's not going to come true? Hmm. That's the thing about rumors, isn't it? Another cozy little home? Hello? Is anybody home? Have I been here before? Feels like I've been here before. Ugh! Oh, I need to start leaving stuff outside the door. 
to designate to myself where I have and have not been. We're going in like a giant circle now. Right? Aren't we? There's another lady on the floor. I don't think that's a suicide lady. Yeah, see? All these zombie corpses. We've been here before. We've done the thing. I'm just running up and down this fucking path. Lost as shit. Hmm. Alright. It's getting a little bit late. Um, apparently I do have to brave the woods in order to get to that farm. So let's uh, stop by Pony Romo. There's also like a dirt path um, before you get to the, the ponies that you can take and it'll lead directly to the farm. According to this here map, which I keep refusing to look at and then looking at anyways. Because my will is weak! I don't want to be lost! <laughs> Who would? That's, that's a horrible fate to befall someone. Lost in a world of zombies? Fuck that, bro. Ain't gonna do it. Have we explored this little house? Little house on the prairie? I guess not. I don't remember this at all. Metal bar, plank, small sheet metal. Lots of sheet metal. I need to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Hmm, metalwork magazine. Ooh, mini trucker magazine, hashtag clerks. Yeah, you remember that movie, don't you? You don't? Then you're too young. Then you're too young, you shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> oh, there's some twine and wire. Can I fit this in a bag? Kinda. A little bit. Alright. Getting really packed as far as uh, loot is concerned, but that's fine. I still want to find the fucking the farm, but it'll have to wait for next episode. It's almost 8 o'clock. It's almost my Betty by time. I ain't got time for all this, son. Did I put up sheets and everything? I should probably put one on the door. Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. It's got a straight line of sight to that bed. And if I'm sleeping there, then uh, some zombies could see me and be like, Oh! That looks like a snack, laying on the bed just for me. I'm like a mint on the pillow, except I don't taste as good. <laughs> Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always appreciated. Uh, sorry we didn't find the farm quite yet. We're definitely going to be there tomorrow, and then the uh, next episode will probably head back. You know, we'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear, as we always do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching once more. Um, I, I really appreciate the growth that I've been seeing on this channel. Almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm being patient. My fingers are crossed for that. Uh, and when we hit it, we're gonna, we're gonna have a party with cake. And, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm gonna eat all the cake because you guys aren't gonna be here. But, uh, I'll be thinking of you while I do it. <laughs> Anyways, <sighs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching. And until the next time. Bye! -bye. One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.